Alright, hello and welcome back to another video. Now, uh, in today's video, I'm actually going to be playing the M51. Now, the M51, it's uh, the Israeli Sherman with a 105mm gun, which you find on the AMX-30. So, uh, yeah, it's certainly one hell of a combination to play. Um, in practice, it's actually really nice. Uh, the round does a lot of damage. Well, it does a lot of damage if you aim correctly. It doesn't if you don't. Uh, you know, it's heat, so post-pen damage is questionable. But you do basically penetrate everything you see. So, uh, yeah, that is how it is. Here on this map, what I'm going to be doing is uh, first going here to the A point and uh, getting shot by a tiger. Never mind, we got his loader, as you see right there. Post-pen damage really could have been a bit better. But, uh, you know, we're just going to reload another shell here. His, uh, I don't know where his shell went there. Um, that's a bit unfortunate for him. As you see, we're able to get his gunner there, but sadly, not his uh, driver or anything. So, here we go. We have to get his machine gunner to actually get the kill. Um, ooh, a tank in front of me there just disappeared. Uh, looks like that was a uh, Stura Emil. So uh, we're just going to get rid of him there. Of course, heat does overpressure. So uh, we do actually manage to kill him in one shot there, which is really nice. Uh, Sturm Tiger right there. Uh, uh, do I engage him? Uh, maybe. I mean, oh, we actually, wow, really nice. Um, I guess his ammunition is uh, quite large, so it not, wasn't exactly very hard to get it. Now, uh, here in City Fights is where the M51 does start to, uh, you know, have a bit of weakness, of course. It is an M4A1 hole, so... Uh, it's very, very easy to kill. Uh, although you do actually, surprisingly enough, bounce a couple rounds very occasionally, but that's more because they get gaijin, not because you have any good armor. Um, yeah, for now, I think I'm gonna play really passively here because, uh, yeah, it is quite a dangerous thing to be uh, kind of just roaming around here. There we go. Luckily, we were able to get his gunner there, and he actually missed because his barrel was pointed too high. Uh, so we are able to, uh, surprisingly enough, get the kill on him, which, uh, yeah, is, uh, interesting. I guess I wasn't really situationally aware there. But, uh, I think for now, we're gonna have to sit here because I think there are a couple tanks to our right, so I can't exactly push onto this road. Uh, maybe I can sort of sneak a shot here if I'm lucky through this building, but, uh, you know, that seems really unlikely. So maybe I'll just take a quick peek here. Quickly run across this road. And, uh, oh, that's bad. That is really bad. Uh, there we go. It's one target done. And I'm just going to uh, get behind the uh, house here. And I'm going to point my gun towards this side because I think there's a tank right here. Alright, well, uh, I guess that was a bit unfortunate there. Uh, luckily, this tank actually gets three free respawns. You don't have to use backups. If you use a backup, I believe that's only on your fourth spawn. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit pointless to put backups on this tank. And you also get to have sort of a full lineup without actually having uh, more than one tank. So that's really nice. Um, you know, the enemy team here is uh, still pushing really hard. So we're going to have to play this really carefully. Maybe I'll go off here to the left and try and snipe a couple people. We'll see what we do. Alright, well, it looks like they're capturing the uh, A-point here. I believe there's a challenger here, I was about to say. But, uh, no, that's just a tiger with full ammo. Um, but no, there definitely was a challenger here, because I saw it in the kill fade earlier. Destroy the IS-2 that was here. And, uh, well, I don't know where he is now. I'm just gonna capture the point now. You know, wait for something to happen. Hopefully I don't get bombed. And, uh, yeah, we'll wait for more enemies to arrive. Alright, now we do hear a tank here to the left. I believe it is a panther or something of a derivative derivative of a panther. There we go. I can speak English. Um, but yeah, we'll kind of gently move up here. We do have to be careful to not get like shot from like the hills all the way out there. But yeah, there we go. The tank there is shot. But I probably won't make it on time uh, for his next reload cycle. But, oh no, now I will. Okay, excellent. So we're just going to go here. Uh, there we go. Even if it's a Black Prince, uh, no match for, what is this, like, 400mm pen heat, and yeah, there we go. That was, uh, quite an eventful kill for us. Ooh, that's bad, though, they're on the point. Uh, unfortunately, I can't shoot behind me. Thankfully, that Tiger there was, first of all, carrying full ammo, and second of all, uh, you know, 
um, kind of got stuck, so that uh, did help us to get that kill there. Stuka here. Uh, I guess they do say Stuka Verband im Angriff auf Bösebüschische Panzer, something, something. Unfortunately, or I guess fortunately, his bomb uh, didn't hit us. Oh, that's an enemy tank, I think. Yeah, yeah, that is. Uh, let's just uh, shoot the turret there and overpressure him, because he is a wonderful round. And uh, yeah, I guess now all we do is... Oh, that's bad. Tank behind us was freshly killed. There's actually an EBR right behind us. Uh, yep, there we go. And uh, right now I really don't know what to do, actually. Ooh, we just saw PT-76 go there. The good news is that we can overpressure him. The bad news is he's that he has a stabilizer. So I think I'm gonna wait here. And hopefully he does uh, push around. Anyway, we do hear some tank here in front of us. It sounds like... I was about to say a warble wind, but I think we're... Oh no, wait, no. Oh, goodbye. There we go. Luckily, uh, we stopped there when I saw the plane. So, uh, yeah, we didn't get bombed, so that's nice. Um, uh, the problem is they've captured the A-point now because uh, that Arado there kind of did annihilate our team there. Hopefully this next bomb here doesn't hit us. Ooh, it was aimed at us. Ooh, we see a whirlwind there. Uh, that's good. Because I can overpressure that. The problem is I can't really stand still here in the middle of a field. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to keep this train rolling until we get to the capture zone. Oh, we see a Rattel. Oh, we only got his gunner. We're just gonna try and, uh, do the mega push here. There we go, and we did actually manage to overpressure him. I don't know how we didn't overpressure him on the first shot, though. That was a bit odd, but hey, we still got the kill in the end. So that's all nice. Anyway, uh, we've captured the zone now. Oh, there's a tank right here. Uh, oh, we both... See, look, we can actually survive a shot. I was about to say we both skill is shooting. Well, I wasn't wrong. Looks like our friendly eyes too there, though, did help us out. And uh, yeah, we can safely uh, well stay alive here on the capture zone. That plane here is really interested in me. He's been shaving me for like the past couple minutes now. Um, but yeah, he hasn't really done any noticeable damage to me. There does also seem to be a tank here, uh, down this road. Oh, he shot the KV-2. Um, there we go. Let's quickly get rid of that before he gets another shot off. And, uh, yeah, I guess now we just kind of wait here, but we do hear someone in front of us, so we do have to watch out for that. There we go. We're going to try and navigate around here. And, uh, try and peek the corner. There we go. Overpressure is wonderful. And, uh, yeah, we do get ourselves another kill here. Sounds like there's, like, a tiger here. Um, trying to engage this KV-2. Sadly, I can't really push out here. Um, uh, although, you know what? Maybe we can. I'll give it a try. Ooh, that was close. We got set on fire there. Uh, now, will I be able to push him... Before he gets another round reloaded, the answer is no. So I'm just going to uh, quickly extinguish here. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll be watching this corner now. Alright, well there we go. That was quite a close game. In the end, uh, we got something like 13 kills and one death. I mean, oh, two deaths, sorry. And uh, you know what? That's a pretty good result. Alright, for our second battle for today, looks like we're here on uh, some snow map. I forgot what its name was. Uh, we're just going to go straight to the sea point here to capture the zone because that is probably the safest thing we can do here. And uh, after that, I don't know what I'll do. You know, we'll see what enemies decide to show up. I believe we are, uh, I don't know what we're actually in. Uh, maybe 6.3, 6.7 up tier. Um, definitely 6.7 at least because uh, there is a nuke available to us. So yeah, we might actually face quite a few scary tanks. There we go, the first tank we faced there is an M41. Luckily, our shell did plenty of damage there. So, uh, yeah, oh, goodbye. <laughs> the, uh... M, M, what, what was it that's in front of me? A rattle. Kind of got nuked by a Sturm Tiger. So, uh, on one hand, that means that my engine's actually been shot out, which isn't great, so I'm going to quickly extinguish that. I'm also going to repair it here because we're on the capture zone and it's shorter for me to do that. Um... The problem is there does seem to be a tank here to my left, uh, and it, uh, yeah, is very actively looking for me. Luckily, we were able to, uh, yeah, find him there. 
Here we go. Looks like the Sturm Tiga had also been dealt with. And now that's all that's left. Is that Stug? Or no, that's not a Stug. Yeah, no, no one would be that stupid. Uh, I think it's a Panzer for 70 here in front of me. But um, yeah, I think he's looking at me, so I can't just uh, push him. Although it looks like he has actually shot the uh, friendly T-34 here. So we're just going to quickly get rid of him. And uh, yeah, kind of go back into cover now. Alright, that was a very unfortunate shot on that Panther there. Uh, you know, I guess a bit of a skill issue on my part. There we go, let's just quickly uh, shoot him in third person there. And uh, quickly look over here to the right. Now we can't push over this hill because there's a tiger watching here, so we do have to be careful about that. Uh, let's see. Never mind. The uh, eyes 2 there was actually dealt with by a friendly A1H, so we don't have to look at that anymore. Which is excellent. Yeah, I do actually hear something in and uh, on the C point. It looks like it's also capturing the zone now. So, uh, well, of course, we're going to go look at that now. Because what else is there to do here? Um, it sounds very light, but that doesn't mean it's harmless to us. I mean, it looks like we see an M41 here. And uh, unfortunately, I had the reaction time, or I had better reaction time than him. And I was able to, uh, yeah get rid of him and recapture the zone all right well i guess to end this off here looks like there is a uh i don't know is that a panzer IV? no it can't be a panzer four. that's a tiger e here we go we're just gonna shoot him in third person here uh in the turret looks like we did get his breach we're just gonna wait for another round to reload and for his uh gunner to come back and then we'll be able to just shoot another round and oh his gunner wasn't back yet oh well that's a bit unfortunate uh, looks like we have to reload another round here. Hopefully nobody uh, takes the kill. And there we go. That is our seventh kill. Alright, for our third battle here, we are on Campania. Now, unfortunately, I have actually been kind of getting a lot of encoding issues now. So, uh, you know, we'll see if this footage actually makes it even into the video. Because, you know, I, I got one game with the nuke. I got a game with a couple more kills, only to realize that... Uh, the screen kept turning white occasionally, um, or kind of like really blurry, so it was completely unusable, uh, which really is unfortunate. But regardless, here I've gone uh, here next to the C point. It looks like our 2S3M friend here is uh, busy capturing the point, so we won't be able to get it. But that's fine because I never really expected to do so, because this tank really isn't uh, particularly fast. Unfortunately, he was actually annihilated by a JPZ. So that isn't, uh, well, optimal, but, you know, I think a JPC is, should be relatively easy to deal with. So I'm just going to take a quick right here and uh, go to this point here. Looks like he's on it, actually. Sadly, uh, he popped quite a lot of smoke here, so I can't actually see him. Maybe I should have exited. Uh, ooh, that's a tank. Oh, that is terrible. That is really terrible. We're just not going to move and he'll never notice us. Uh, right, I can't believe that worked. We're going to try that again. Wow, crazy. Um, fortunately for me, that guy there popped smoke. And the JPZ is still on the point here. I don't know where he is. Right, I'm trying to get some eyes on him here, but I'm going to... Ooh, there he is. Uh, it's a verified my life be like moment. Okay, looks like he's died now, which is good because he can't scout me now. A uh, bit of a problem though. Tiger there, unfortunately, I only got his turret crew. And uh, there's also like a panther or something over here. So I do have to deal with that. There you go, that's that guy dead. Um, you know, I should have considered uh, moving out of here, but now I'm just filling. Um, because, well, what else is there to do? Oh no, uh, that panther is going to let all his teammates know that I'm here. Alright, well... I think now is a good time to leave. There we go. I'm just freshly shot. And uh, maybe we can sneak in. And, you know, no, no we can't. Let's just run away. Oh no, this is bad. He's going to push the corner and I won't be able to shoot him because he's behind the fence. So this guy's very slowly pushing the corner here. Um, unfortunately, my shell doesn't really do any damage. So, uh, you know, that is a bit of a problem. Sounds like there's a tank here in front of me. We're just going to turn the turret around and uh, hopefully be able to engage him. There we go. Um, luckily for me, uh, yeah, 
I was looking towards. Ooh, just missed Panther there. So uh, yeah, right now we're kind of getting chased down by them. I'm going to try and separate them here so that they don't come at me uh, both at the same time. But they might also spawn in new tanks, so we do have to watch out for that as well. Uh, let's see, there doesn't seem to be anybody there. Maybe we'll just uh, wait here and watch this corner. Maybe he'll push around. But that doesn't seem to be the case. You know what, I'm gonna let them do their own thing. I think I'm gonna go to the B point here. Hopefully uh, capture it, I was gonna say. But it looks like there's actually someone already on there. So I guess we can prevent it from getting captured. That would uh, probably be the best option for me. Alright, well we see the tank there. Uh, it took me a bit of time. But better late than never. Just to be safe, I shot his breach there. Um, you know, you uh, never really know what your shell is gonna do in this tank. I'm just going to aim for the right corner here, and uh, that does successfully detonate his ammunition. Alright, uh, well, uh, we've captured the zone there. Um, looks like the people who were chasing me earlier seem to be having their own difficulties there on the C-point, as our team has actually managed to uh, capture it for themselves. So hopefully we'll just be able to drive into their spawn now and sort of uh, win the game. Because I... don't feel like... Yeah, having this battle go on for too long. But I heard someone there. I think uh, I was just hallucinating. Alright, well, looks like we do hear a panther in front of us somewhere. Uh, he's probably going to go behind the church building here and try and flank our uh, light tank, who is uh, hopefully watching him. Um, You know, we're just going to try and look here. Better be safe. Quickly check the corner here. He doesn't seem to be here. There we go, we see them getting lit up by planes here, so at least we can confirm that he's right in front of us. And uh, again, now we just hold W key. Hope that he's not looking at us, but he is. That is unfortunate. Uh, we're just going to... Uh... There we go, get rid of him there. Um, but, uh... Ooh, there's a tank right there. And he sees me. No, he doesn't. He doesn't see me. He does not. There we go, we're just going to get his gunner, just to be safe. And uh, yeah, now we can just peacefully reload a shell here and uh, aim for his driver. And that does get rid of him. Ooh. We do see a uh, v or Porsche Tiger, Van Tiger. Oh, that is bad. That is really bad. Oh my god, how do we even survive that? Um, is he like around there? Yep, another bad shot from me. I should have. Uh, not shot the area like in between his front plate. I should have just shot the front plate itself. Uh, maybe if we shoot like right there. There we go. We got his gunner uh, and his uh, loader. Oh, we're able to load another shell here. And uh, kind of just aim right there. And there we go. That does get his driver. That was quite a scary encounter. Um, yeah, I guess we can go clean up the AA and their spawn now. I don't really feel like going over to the A point. Because uh, that is quite a far journey. So yeah. Okay, never mind. It looks like they're capturing the B point now, so we're actually gonna go there. Um, yeah, I guess the enemy team still is trying, and that's great because that means the battle goes longer and I get more RP. Well, the command tiger is actually respawned here. I'm just gonna carefully aim at him and uh, load a machine gun. Oh, that's bad. Run, run, run. We may not be so lucky the second time. Um, there we go. Luckily, uh, here we go. We, can, we got an assist now. Excellent. I don't have to deal with him a second time. Oh, but I do have to deal with the tiger. Uh, we'll just quickly turn around the tank here. Gunner, loader, and uh, machine gunner. I do hear a panther to my front, I believe. There we go. We're going to quickly get rid of that guy. Never mind. It's an allied tank. I was mistaken. Um, but yeah, let's just try and get to the B point now, but there's probably a panther camping it. Sadly, uh, even if we have 2,500 spawn points now, we can't actually spawn in a nuke because, uh, yeah, we're at 6.3 or something. So no nuke for us. Um, there is a panther, like, right around this corner. I think he has his engine off because our friendly was just annihilated there. So, uh, yeah, let's just be extremely careful here because, uh... Yeah, there we go. We hear him now. I think he's run out of battery or something. That's why he 
Let's turn his engine on now. Yep, there we go. He is looking right at me. Well, that's fine. Um, I'll just do something called leaving. Because that is something that I can do. I just don't want to deal with him right now. Well, we did actually get his gunner with that shot there. Um, sadly, I've kind of just committed to just holding W now, so... I can't really, uh... Kill him before his gunner is back up. Looks like there's a panther over there. Um... Whoa. Hitboxes, I love them. We're just gonna act like we never shot around, or that we never existed. And he's gonna peacefully ignore us as well. Let's just, uh, you know, shoot another round there. Gunner, machine gunner. Sadly, I couldn't get his transmission, but it is red, so he is moving a bit slower than he normally would. Um, so let's just, uh... Oh, uh, we have a bit of an issue. We've run out of ammunition. Um... That is unfortunate. Uh, looks like we're just gonna try and go to the... Mmm... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll try and go to the B point now. But, uh... I never really expected to run out of ammunition on this tank. And that's why I usually carry a 24 rounds. Because, you know, you do use a bit more in this tank, but, uh... I guess you use quite a bit more in this tank. Um, oh, hello, Panther. Uh, how you do? Oh, he shot us. Oh, he thinks I still have ammunition. That's funny. Yeah, I can pop smoke as well. Oh. Alright, well, in the end there, uh, looks like we got something like 9 kills, 3 assists, 2 capture zones, which gives a total of 4,000 score. Sadly, uh, you know, 6.3, so no nuke for us, but uh, as you've probably seen in this battle, first of all, the M51's a really strong tank, and second of all, um, bring more ammunition than you're used to bringing, because you will run out of it, or you will at least use a bit more than you're used to using. Anyway, uh, hopefully you have enjoyed this video here, you know, if you did, uh, feel free to like and subscribe, that always does uh, give me a bit of a motivation boost, you could say. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.